Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with another Alexa skill demo. In this one, we're going to see how much you know about assistive technology history, especially blindness technology. And we're going to do that using a new skill. It's been out a few months now, actually, by Jonathan Mosen called Blind Technology Trivia. Now, this is a fun game. It explores about 30 years or so of blindness technology history. And there are a lot of good questions here. So in this video, I'm going to show you the gameplay, and we'll play a bit. Now, I'll get a certain number, you know, a few right, and then we'll get a few wrong, too. So we get um, kicked out eventually, because otherwise... We might be here all day because I happen to know for some reason a good number of these. So let's give it a go. Alexa, open blind technology trivia. Welcome to Blind Technology Trivia by Jonathan Mosen, the game where we explore 35 years of tech trivia from the blindness world. I'll be asking you some questions about the products and people in the blindness technology industry. Some are super easy. Others will break your brain. One to four players can play. How many are playing? One. Is this technology lover? Yes. Let's start. So what that was was answer nickname. Answer quickly until you get three wrong. To undo an answer, say Alexa, undo. Many Braille using iPhone owners were delighted when a third-party virtual keyboard came along allowing Braille input with a powerful set of commands for sending the app's contents to other apps. What is the name of this app, which is still available today? Is the answer 1. Braille screen input 2. M-Braille 3. Flexi or 4. Braille key 2. That's correct. You now have one point. It's nifty. Next question. Tom, Samantha, Daniel and Karen are all members of which happy text to speech family? Is the answer one, neo speech, two, natural voices, three, vocalizer, or four, eloquence? Three. How do you do that? You now have two points. These voices are made by real people going into the studio and recording hundreds of hours of tiny audio fragments and common words. Dude, that's dedication. Next question. Pulse Data International is most famous for devices running Keysoft, but it also used to produce a DOS screen reader. What was its name? Is the answer one. ASAP. I'm gonna get this one in. Two. Master Touch. Three. Tiny Talk. Or four. Keynote Goal. Four. You said four. Keynote Goal. Oh lordy mercy. The correct answer was Master Touch. You could also get a cool touch tablet for it. Only two wrong two answers left and you're out. Next question. Torsten Brandt and Marcus Grober broke new ground when they created a screen reader to make mobile phones truly accessible. What was the name of the screen reader? Hmm. Is the answer one. Talks. Two. Mobile speak. Three. Screen talk. Or four. Phone reader. I know it's one or two. One. See. Yabba dabba do. You now have three points. Tox developed into a powerful tool complete with excellent braille support. Next question. When did Apple build braille screen input directly into iOS? Is the answer 1. 2010 2. 2012 3. 2014 or 4. 2015 Four. Oh, whoops. I said the wrong one. You said four. I meant to say three, but it's okay. I'd like to say yes, but I gotta say, on this occasions, no. 
The correct answer was 2014. That's right, that's what I meant to if say. If you master it, it's super fast. Only one wrong one answer left and you're out. Do a Next few more. question. JAWS for Windows can be configured thanks to scripts. What was the equivalent feature in JAWS for DOS? Is the answer 1. DOS scripts 2. Macros 3. Set files or 4. Automations 2. Dude, that's it. You now have 4 points. Macros were a powerful configuration tool, but some people found them hard to learn. Next question. What was the name of the company that developed the original Keynote computer in 1986? Is the answer 1. Pulse Data International 2. Humanware 3. Wormwald International Sensory Aids or 4. Lazy Engineering I think it's 1. 1. You said one. Oh. Pulse Data International. I'd like to say yes, but I gotta say, on this occasion, no. The correct answer was Wormold International Sensory Aids. Wormold International Sensory Aids was a company based in Christchurch, New Zealand. Founded by Russell Smith, it later became Pulse Data International. You finished with a score of four points. Don't despair. Try again. Want to play again? No. Thank you for playing. And there you have it. I actually did worse than I normally do, but... <laughs> I didn't want this to last too long, because sometimes when I play this, I'm just sitting here answering question after question and moving... I don't know how I know this when I wasn't even alive for a lot of this stuff, but I've always found assistive technology history fascinating. And so this is a cool little skill to learn some more about it. So if you're into this stuff, go ahead and give blind technology trivia a try. It's a fun skill and there is a lot of good material in there. So hope you've enjoyed this little demo of blind technology trivia, and I'll see you in the next video. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more, and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.